I am Nathaniel Rumpeljantz, editor-in-chief at Zelda Informer and your local boss man. And today I'm here to give you my top three reasons. Woo! And I'm excited for Nintendo in 2015. All right, if you guys remember a few episodes back, I talked about the three reasons that I'm frustrated with Nintendo in 2015. And in interest of fairness, you can't be frustrated with someone without also discussing the positive aspects of someone. In this case, that someone is a company. It's not a single person. It's not just Mr. Iwata or <laughs> Iwata, sorry. It's not just Mr. Iwata or Miyamoto or Reggie fils It's a collection of people. And today I want to just talk about what I'm excited about for them here at the beginning of 2015 as we're starting to get into spring and head towards summer with E3 coming up. Uh, so the first thing I want to talk about and reason number one that I am excited for Nintendo in 2015 is cross buy. So cross buy is not a new concept. It's something that Sony has been doing for a while with the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation Vita and now with the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation Vita. Essentially, if a game exists on both platforms and it's the same game, if you buy one of those games for either platform, you get it for free on the other platform. You can see how that's a, re a really good value for consumers. Now, it hasn't been a selling point for the Vita. People are not lining up to buy the Vita because it has cross-buy. But people are buying the 3DS. And people aren't really buying the Wii U. So it's kind of it's kind of like they flip-flopped in terms of relevancy here. But cross-buy is a thing. It's happening. It's already happened. Uh, the very first game uh, to do it for Nintendo was Mario vs. Donkey Kong. Since then, it also happened with, uh, I believe it's called Oli Oli, it's an indie title. Mutant Mud's Super Challenge was the most recent game announced to take advantage of Cross-Buy, and that was from the last Nintendo Direct on April 1st. So, Cross-Buy is a thing, and Nintendo is doing more of it, and we have three titles so far this year we know about that are going to have Cross-Buy, and there's a huge potential for this in the future. Uh, not so much between the Wii U and the 3DS, because there's going to be very few games that are going to be on both platforms outside of indie titles, which is why we're seeing this more with indie titles versus, say, New Super Mario Brothers. What we could see in the future with the next consoles coming next year, the year after, the year after that, whenever they come out, is that uh, this cross-buy is going to be a huge, a huge thing. It's going to really interlock their, their systems together. So you could buy either system, buy the game for that system, and have it on the other system. And I think it's going to be a big selling point and a big thing Nintendo is going to market even more so than Sony did for the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation Vita and PlayStation 4 and PlayStation Vita. Somehow Nintendo is going to make it a selling point when the competition struggled to do so. So I really, really like this idea of the cross-buy, and I think this is just the beginning. I think we're going to see even more indie titles this year announced as a cross-buy, and there's a potential that there could be titles that come out, say, a mobile game for phones that also comes out to the Wii U and 3DS, and you could see a cross-buy between all three platforms, and that would be really cool. Uh, and one thing that uh, the cross-buy is different on Nintendo compared to, say, PlayStation Vita and uh, the PlayStation 4 is that cross-buy is has this unique functionality with Nintendo Network IDs. So if you're on your Wii U and you bought, say, Donkey Kong uh, versus, I'm sorry, Mario versus Donkey Kong, and you bought it on your Wii U and you say you have three or four uh, Nintendo Network IDs connected to that Wii U, and all three or four of them obviously have access to that game no matter which account bought it on that system. Well, those same Nintendo Network IDs, if you connect them to three or four different 3DS units, can also download the game. So in theory, you could buy the game once and still have four other friends or three other friends get the game for free. That's awesome. And I, I don't know if this is a bug, but it has been confirmed to work by several users. I've not tested it myself because, hey, I, I have two Nintendo Network IDs. I only have one handheld system. You know, it, it, it's just a really, really cool thing. Reason number two, <laughs> loyalty discounts. Now, Nintendo announced uh, an, a concept for a loyalty program a while back, and a lot of people think this loyalty program could be what replaces Club Nintendo. But a while back, uh, back E3 2011 or 2012, they talked about rewarding customers who continue to buy games in the same series. So say you bought A Link Between Worlds, The Wind Waker HD, Majora's Mask 3D, and say Skyward Sword, say you bought those four Zelda games. Because you have bought those four Zelda games, you would get 
the next game in the series at a prorated rate, at a discounted rate, because you're loyal to the series. So Nintendo is rewarding your loyalty by encouraging you to continue to buy into the games you're already Oh, into the game series you've already bought into in the past by giving it to you cheaper than people who are just jumping in right now. Nintendo hasn't done anything with that announcement since. Uh, they just said it's an idea they're going to work on and they're eventually going to test it out. Well, it appears we're finally seeing that test become a r reality. If you have bought Mutant Muds, uh, specifically in the 3DS before, you are going to get a discount, a loyalty discount for buying Mutant Muds Super Challenge. And that's huge. We don't know how much that discount is. It could just be a dollar. It could be 50% off. Uh, it could just be 10% off. We have no idea what that discount is. But the fact you're going to get a discount for buying the previous game is just a sign of, of Nintendo testing new grounds here. And this could just be the first of many titles they attempt to do this with. Uh, as an example, we have a new Fire Emblem game coming out on the 3DS next year. And they could say, hey, if you bought Fire Emblem Awakening you could get a loyalty discount on the new Fire Emblem game for 3DS. And they could even apply that to the Fire Emblem crossover game. So if you think about it, uh, it's a really interesting concept and something that, uh, you know, you think Nintendo wouldn't do because they might lose money on it, but it could also encourage continued sales. Have you grown tired of the Mario Kart series? Well, are you still willing to buy into that Mario Kart series if at launch you can get it for $40 instead of 60 that, that's what we're looking at here with this loyalty program. And I, I, I think it's really going to tie into whatever they launch at the end of the year, the Replace Club Nintendo, because it's going to be how they track your purchases and track your games. It's all going to be online. It's all going to automatically happen the moment you fire up those games instead of having to enter in Club Nintendo codes. Uh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be great. And I can't wait. I honestly cannot wait. Uh, I'm excited. And I'm excited for what Nintendo plans to do with this loyalty program in the future, uh, as this is the first game taking advantage of it. And obviously, my last point, probably the most important point, <laughs> is games, games, games. I am excited for the games that Nintendo has in 2015, the games that have already come out, the games still to come. And while I am disappointed, like many of you, that Zelda U has been delayed, even though we're probably going to get a better game because of it, I understand the frustrations with that, and while... Uh, Mr. Aonumo did not say that we would not get the game in 2015. He just said 2015 is not, no longer a target. It doesn't matter if we get Zelda U or not this year. It really doesn't. And it pains me saying that as the editor-in-chief at Zelda Informer. But there's so many great titles this year to be excited about. Uh, I'm going to go look down here a little bit and, and read off this list of titles that I kind of came up with. And these are all off the top of my head, just titles I'm aware of. So we already got Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. We got Majora's Mask 3D. We got codename Steam, and we've gotten Mario Party 10, and Xenoblade Chronicles 3D as of last Friday. Um, on top of that, we still have Splatoon, Mario Maker, Yoshi's Worldly World, and Xenoblade, Xenoblade Chronicles X. That's what we know for sure is coming this year or has already come out, and to me, that's already a stellar lineup. Uh, and then we have potential Ace in the Hole type games. Uh, we have Star Fox. We haven't seen it yet. It could still come out this year. Uh, we have Fatal Frame 5. We still don't have a, a release date for it, but it was just announced that in the last Nintendo Direct, and the game already exists. So all they have to do is localize it. That's very realistically coming here in 2015. Uh, we also have the Fire Emblem crossover game. I don't think that's going to arrive this year, as we just finally saw a little snippet of footage for it, a, a trailer. Uh, but that could potentially come this year. Uh, and obviously, in 2016, we have the new Fire Emblem game as confirmed for a 2016 release in the United States, and Zelda U, which is a likely 2016 release. If we just stick with 2015, we have Kirby, Majora's Mask, Codename C, Mario Party, Xenoblade Chronicles 3D, Splatoon, Mario Maker, Yoshi, Xenoblade again, potentially Star Fox, Fatal Frame 5, and maybe even the Fire Emblem crossover. That's a huge lineup of games coming from one company. I mean, think about that. That's all coming from one single company that's that's something to be excited about uh obviously i wish we still got the assassin's creeds the call of duties of the world the battlefields and all that great i, I wish that nintendo consoles got that because then maybe i wouldn't need to own my xbox one in fact the day i bought an xbox one was just to play madden madden imagine if they had just released madden on the wii u uh, the original edition of madden not what we got madden 13 which was an older version of the game and uh, you know, not 
not what they did on the Wii. Like, if they just gave us an updated version of Madden, I probably wouldn't even own an Xbox One. I would be a happy Nintendo gamer. I would have been $400 to $500 uh, richer, and I probably would have bought even more Nintendo games. Now, that's not anything against the Xbox One. I played Shadow of Mordor and some other great games on it uh, that I probably could have also played on my PC instead. But, uh, yeah, Nintendo, man. I'm excited. They have a really, really, really exciting thing going on here uh, this year. And this is probably why so many people are forgiving of them um, for the negatives they've done. Uh, as you know, I talked about the negatives in a prior video. You can see up here, click somewhere around here and uh, go watch that. Uh, but just because there's some negatives doesn't mean there's some positives. So uh, whatever way you want to view 2015 for Nintendo this year, uh, you can view it negatively. You can view it positively. I know Angry Joe views it negatively. I'm kind of stuck in the middle right now. I, I played Nintendo for the games, so as long as all these games deliver great experiences for me, I'll be okay. But will you? Are you okay? Are you okay with the negatives? Are you okay with the positives? Is there more positives than negatives? Or is it the other way around? Let me know down below in the comments. And thanks for checking out this week's episode of The Boss Man. You can catch us on Facebook, on Twitter, on Twitch, on Google+, Tumblr. We're, we're kind of everywhere. Obviously, you can check us out on ZeldaInformer.com. Be sure to subscribe, um, like this video, comment below. And uh, if you're wondering about last week's giveaway, because we had such a low viewer count on the episode, which I guess I sort of anticipated, and I want to apologize for the quality of that video, I didn't was not at my best last, last video. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this one a lot more. Um, we're going to revisit that giveaway in the future and uh, kind of change it up and, and make it easier to enter, as it were. Uh, and try to get more people involved. So, hey, as long as you're enjoying this boss, man, uh, you can look forward to a giveaway in the future. And uh, I will catch you guys next week. Adios.